Thinking Byzantine here, and today we'll be talking about Intel. Now before we get into this article, i like to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything here is just my own opinion. Please do your own research before making any investments. Now with that out of the way, let's jump in. So why is Intel unloading MobileEye? So this article basically says that Intel plans uh, to uh, IPO Mobileye, and currently, industry experts uh, value Mobileye at around $50 billion. And basically, this, this article just goes on to say some of the history around Mobileye and then some of uh, Intel's plans, or like how there's a changing of the guard. Because uh, Pat Gelsinger is the new um, Intel. Intel CEO, he replaced uh, the other guy. I forgot his name already, <laughs> but yeah. Different. Basically, there's just a change in strategy. So, is uh, fifty billion dollars even uh, reasonable? Well, let's just see what Mobileye does in the first place. So, from Mobileye's website, we see that. Uh, Basically, they do hardware, software, and it's a lot of uh, AI deep learning. So basically, they work with fully autonomous vehicles. And if we look here, we can see that Mobileye has made around $326 million in revenue, up 20, 39%. So if we do a quick uh, price to sales calculation, we get a price to sales of around 153 which is quite big but is that really fair well let's see uh, this is a uh, building lidar another autonomous a uh, um, car company they make lidar and here's lumilar as well they make uh lidar as well and then uh we'll look at waymo real quick as well let's see uh, Adjust this a bit. We'll just... Yeah, so this is a building with our uh, price of sales and it got around 76. Okay, so far Intel's is double that. Um, if we look at Lazar or Lumilar, according to uh, uh, yahoofinance.com, we get a price of sales at around 248. So it's sort of in that ballpark of. Uh, Crazy price to sell ratios of autonomous AI tech companies that work with, like I said, autonomous driving cars. Um, now here's Waymo. Um, where was it? Uh, yeah. So according to InvestorType PitchBook, Waymo is valued at $30 billion. Um, I couldn't really find how much revenue uh, brought in, but just to show you that $50 billion it's a bit high, but it's not un impossible, especially in today's uh, stock market. But anyways, the reason why it could be like, uh, we'll get to the reasons why that this may be a good move for Intel. But anyways, uh, here's a reaction to the news. It was, uh, went up a bit, but it's, uh, you know, coming back down to earth. It was a silly news type of event, or some people maybe interpreted it as uh, they were spinning off Waymo and not Waymo, uh, Mobileye, and that Intel shareholders would get some uh, Mobileye stock, but that's not how, what they're going to do. Unlike uh, the AT and T Warner Brothers um, Discovery spinoff thing, where at t shareholders would get um, shares in the new company. But in any case, Intel is basically raising money, mainly because, in my opinion, they're going to be spending a lot of money on CapEx. By a lot, I mean, here you go, $20 billion to build chip plants in Arizona. Um, meanwhile, their competitor is, uh, spend, is planning to spend over $100 billion. And here's some more recent news of Malaysia saying uh, Intel will invest 70 
billion dollars in new facilities. So, Intel and probably Samsung and TSM, they're all building tons of new facilities to build the newest nodes. And basically, they're just going to be spending a lot of money for further returns down the line. And Intel could use this money to put into building more factories and potentially uh, using that money for the turnaround strategy. I mean, Intel's going to keep um, part of the mobile eye from what I remember. I'm not sure there's, I'm not 100% sure they're going to spin off the entire thing, but, but I'm pretty sure that they'll keep at least half of it. So Intel will still have a stake in mobile eye. Um, I just want to confirm, um, let's see, no, this article doesn't say it, but I guess another thing to use the money for was, uh, make, like, buying a chip maker, I mean, this article suggests it's a global foundry for 30 billion, which was spun off of AMD, uh, I'm not sure if that's sound, because, you know, there's a conflict of interest of, I remember Global Foundry saying something about manufacturing AMD chips, and AMD is Intel's primary competitor when it comes to uh, um, CPU chips and server chips. Um, Intel is also trying to encroach on AMD and NVIDIA's uh, GPU line, so we'll see how good Intel's GPUs are going to be. But in any case, this is a quick video I just wanted to make just to get myself back into the mood of making these type of videos and I, if you want to do more searching of information for this Intel strategy what Intel plans to do with the money from Mobileye how much of Mobileye they'll keep uh, I suggest just keeping a lookout but in any case um, Intel is going to be a rather interesting stock to keep an eye on in this coming year this is Thinking Byzantine, and have a good day.